Hello everyone, let's chat about extended hours trading or after hours trading or pre-market hours trading, all the trading that happens during the time when regular hours aren't open. So the first thing we must understand about this quick tutorial is what are regular hours? Well, in New York, regular hours are 9.30 a.m. ET to 4 p.m. ET. This is when the stock market opens. And markets across the world have different regular hours. And you'll have to do some research. We're not going to cover every country uh, out there. But the point is, is that there's something called regular hours or normal hours. And this is when the market officially opens and when it officially closes. 4 p.m. ET in New York is when it closes. 9.30 a.m. ET is when it opens. Now, out, outside of these hours, so before 9.30 a.m. ET and after 4 p.m. ET is something called extended hours trading, or we could call them pre-market, that would be before 9.30 a.m. ET, or after hours trading, which would be after 4 p.m. ET. For now, for this video, let's just type in extended hours trading, and this is the time before 9.30 a.m. ET, and after 4 p.m. ET. So, let's make this actually a little larger, 16. You can see our text right here. If you want to, take a screenshot of this. You'll never forget it if you have this down, if you're just looking to learn more. On TradingView now, you can chart these hours individually, combined, different colors, different visualizations, time intervals, however you want. The choice is yours. There's so many different ways to customize this beautiful chart. To get started, let's head to a chart of Nike because they reported earnings yesterday. And as you can see, we've kind of kept this little reminder up here. So let's, let's keep this up here so you always can take a look to remind yourself. So Nike reported earnings yesterday. But you can't see the trading that happened after they reported earnings. Earnings. Yes, there's this E icon. Remember, always look for the E icon when you're interested in a company and how and when it reported earnings. You can click to read a snapshot about that earnings report. Just click snapshot about that earnings report. But in order to see the actual price action after earnings, you need to go down a time interval. That's the first most important thing about charting regular trading hours and extended trading hours. You cannot see extended trading hours on a daily chart. You have to go down. So for example, let's go down a time interval. Let's go to one minute. Now what we see on this chart right in front of us is a one minute chart of the full trading day of Nike. Now as we zoom out, you're going to see some shaded areas appear. What do you think these shaded areas mean? These are the extended hours of Nike. These are your after hours trading. Here's after hours trading. Let's make sure we change this color so it's easier to see. And here's your pre-market hours of trading. You can so it's really easy to see. It's these two shaded colors. And you get to decide what each color means to you. In this example, the light blue means after hours. This sort of orangish, tealish color, not tealish, orangish, orangish color means pre-market trading. So as you can see, there's a little ETH at the bottom of the chart. What do you think that means? Well, if we click, it means extended trading hours. If we click regular trading hours, we've now removed the after hours trading, and that is what explains this gap. Many of you know what a gap is. It's when an asset, for example, closes down here. So in this case, the asset has closed down here. And then it's opened up here, and the gap is the empty space between these two points. So this is a gap. But what happened? Don't you want to know how, why that gap happened in the first place? Well, it's really easy for us to do that, as we demonstrated there's a session button at the bottom of the chart, and all you have to do is click it, select extended hours trading, and now we are zooming into that gap. So the gap, for example, is the close here and the open here. But now, in the previous chart, we couldn't see all of this. 
This was not shown. But now in this chart, it is shown because we've selected extended hours trading. We're on a one minute chart. So our time interval is below daily and we have extended hours trading selected. That is the key to getting started. This video is definitely going to go into even more concepts about this. So buckle up. We hope this introduction has helped so far. Now, remember we said Nike reported earnings. Well, this is what is so cool about this tool. You can actually see, here's the earnings report, this E, and you can see how Nike traded before and after the earnings report. It was clearly quite good. The stock spiked. And you can see in the after hours, it managed to hold these levels. And it held them all the way through the, the close of, of after hours trading into the open of pre-market trading, and then, of course, into the open the next day. Now, at times, you may see some really dramatic wicks in after-hours trading or extended-hours trading. Here's why this is so important. There is not much liquidity in these trading sessions. The most liquidity in after-hours or pre-market trading happens because of earnings or an event when there's an event that occurs, that's what makes people want to actually trade these stocks in the after hours. They rarely trade in the after hours because of no news or events. So this tool is really important for events, news, earnings, things like that. However, there is one aspect of if you love a symbol, if you follow this symbol closely and you are passionate about understanding what it's doing at all hours of the day, well, that's also an option to you. This is a chart of Tesla. We've selected a five minute chart, Tesla, and we have extended hours turned on. Extended hours are, are these shaded regions. So if you are someone who has been following Tesla who, and you follow them before the market opens and after it closes, this might be really important to you. Why? Well, as you can see, this area is not shaded. So here is yesterday's trading action. Five minute chart. Each candle represents five minutes worth of trading. This is the open. This is the close. You can see too just how large the volume bars are during normal hours compared to after hours. Look at the size of these bars compared to the shaded region. That should really tell you everything about after hours trading versus regular hours trading. There is more volume in the regular hours than after hours. The only time after hours become really significant trading events is when there's breaking news, when there's earnings, when there's other events happening around a particular symbol. But that does not mean you shouldn't pay attention. This is where things get interesting. Tesla, for example, does not, did not get much trading volume at all during yesterday's close. There was this volume spike, which you always want to double check and ensure that, you know, there's, that this data means something because after hours trading is so illiquid that sometimes there are trades happening that are that, that don't necessarily mean a, a buy or sell. It could just be some kind of trade settling long after the market closed, right? This is when it closes. Or it could mean something else entirely. So you'd have to really read into it and have your pulse on that. But what is interesting is here's the pre-market Tesla session today. And here's a chart of Tesla today. And look at that. The market just closed. Look at the shaded color. And we can see the trades happening live in the after hours right here. It just closed. Okay. Let's just get back to what we were saying. Tesla closed yesterday at, it looks like about $921 a share. Then there was a little bit of trading action in the after hours, but it actually faded in the after hours to about $918 a share. There wasn't much trading volume but it still actually went even lower in the after hours. Take a look at what happened first thing the next morning. It took off. Quite interesting. And what you can now look for is what exactly was happening here. And if we kind of circle these highs, high, high, it never really broke above. And as it sort of triple topped here, it kind of faded down back to a more reasonable level. 
it opened, spiked, and if you look closely, it spiked to these same highs, the pre-market highs. So what we're really demonstrating is how you can use pre-market price action to draw support and resistance just as you would on any other chart. But the point is that this is valuable data to have because now you're looking into a trading session that is often overlooked, not studied, or most people just don't have access to it. But on TradingView, if you lower your time frame, as we've shown you, go below it, go below daily, go to four hours, one hour, 30 minutes, one minute, five minutes, then select extended hour trading. Well, now you can start to do this type of research. And let's just draw a trend line here just to show kind of what we're talking about. So you can just sort of see that this region was, was some, some, some resistance here. And Tesla finally broke above that. And it sort of settled. All, it sort of settled right there. It just sort of guided right into it. And it broke above, came back down, and tested it. Someone was there. Who knows who it was? Some buyer of some sort. And from there onward, Tesla essentially took off. And look at how the rest of the day played out. Remember, this is not investing or trading advice. Instead, the point of this video is to demonstrate how you can use after-hours trading or pre-market trading to see every fine detail about a symbol. So everything we just showed you is just an example of what someone could think through or look at. You can see every trade, every print. And if we go to a minute, let's see what happened here. Let's zoom out. You can sort of see, if you really zoom in, look at the volume bars here. So it's really a, a an important way to see some data points and some trading activity that really most other people miss. But of course, as we mentioned, if you go down a time interval, select extended hours trading, you can dive into this trading action yourself. Now we do have a few more tips to tell you about, and we will make more videos on this. So please ask any questions, all questions in the comments below. But first, if you right click on your chart and go to settings, you can change how after hours look on your chart or, or pre-market hours. So let us actually go back to Nike. Remember, Nike reported earnings. And we could see the price action. We can relive it. We can study you know, what happened before and after this earnings report was released. But remember, everyone has different style in how they want to uh, position their chart, uh, visualize their chart. The look and feel is so important. No trader, investor is alike. You have to make a setup that fits you and looks good to you. So right now there's this baby blue that is essentially the after hours color and then this orange beige that is the pre-market color. But maybe we don't want these colors or maybe we want to change it completely. Right click on your chart, go to settings, click symbol, scroll down and you'll see pre and post market hours background. From here, you can click and change the color of these sessions as you please. So if you want pre-market to actually maybe be a yellow, sort of a morning bright color, and you want it to be even more obvious to see, you could click yellow, change the opacity. There it is. And if you want post-market hours to maybe be a darker blue because it's sort of the end of the day, the sun's going down, maybe there's some feeling there that you're looking for, well, you could just change the opacity or you could even go to maybe gray. Now we can exit out of the chart settings and we've just completely changed the colors of these two sessions. And there is one more thing, of course, too. Some traders actually prefer not to even separate the two. They'd rather actually see them all as one continuous chart and look what we just did there. We changed the opacity to zero, and now we have a chart that is fluid all hours of the day shown to you uh, on the chart of your choice. Now remember, we click daily, so now we're zoomed out. There is no more extended hours being shown. Let's go down to 30 minutes, and here we are. We are not showing the colors because we'd rather just see them continuous. Cryptos trade 24 seven. Well, now we've created a chart environment that's as close as we can get to that. 
let's right click and go to settings one more time and why don't we actually change these colors so that we can show you one more interesting thing to keep in mind let's make sure we delete this drawing we have that's still there okay so we've changed the colors to remind you that these are the pre-market and after pre-market and aftermarket trading sessions now remember they vary by size because there isn't much trading volume in these sessions take a look at the bars here that's because there's a lot the volume bars there's a lot of trading volume in the regular hours that's when the algorithms open the bots the funds money managers retail traders institutions mutual funds anything you can think of who trades equities that's when they participate that's when the most liquidity is occurring it's just going to attract the largest audience now take a look at the extended hour sessions there isn't much volume at all so you always have to keep this in mind sometimes you will see really big price movements but on really little volume this wick is a great example this could have been a hundred share wick and you can see there's not much volume here at all so it's important to always keep that in mind and to have that relative thought process yes that price movement might look like it's spiking but always keep in mind that it could be on little to no volume so always always keep that in mind open up your indicators menu search for volume and then select volume add it to your chart and you can just see more and more data about this so we really appreciate you watching this video we hope that it helped a lot and remember to ask any questions or comments below our team will do our best to help feedback suggestions you name it Thanks so much for watching and we hope this helps.